So now, of course, we are talking all things Hoop Fest this morning here on Up With Krim, and there's a lot to break down because, of course, this is the first time that Hoop Fest has taken place in three years. So the last time that we had a Hoop Fest championship game was three years ago. The COVID-19 pandemic, of course, canceled the in-person Hoop Fest in 2020. A virtual option, however, was made available in August of that year. Teams were able to compete in different drills and challenges in order to determine standings. And then organizers had to push the 2021 Hoop Fest to September, but ultimately they ended up having to cancel the event. But this year, guys, Hoop Fest is back and it's bigger than ever. Now, of course, it's not just the players who are incredibly excited to know that Hoop Fest is back in person. It's fans, the spectators, people coming in from out of town, and of course, business owners as well. The basketball hoops that are lining the sidewalks and the streets all over the downtown Spokane area definitely are a welcome sight for especially Durkin's liquor bar owner, Deborah Green. We're pretty excited to, uh, to have the activity back downtown. I mean, it's been kind of a dry spell and it feels really good to see the city opening up again and to see folks coming to town. Now Green says that her team has a game plan to make sure that everyone who comes in is accommodated, even though this is going to be a pretty busy weekend, but they say they are ready. So now, of course, as businesses all over the city get prepared for an influx of customers flooding into their stores, their restaurants, their bars, 